Citizens 5, a Palmer judge accepted a plea deal today for the man who pled guilty to manslaughter in his wife's shooting death. His wife, a UAA staff member whose death left the couple's two sons without a mother. Carly Schreck tells us why the judge had concerns today. After an emotional day in a Palmer courtroom Wednesday, a Superior Court judge took the night to consider a plea deal in the case of Michael Anthony Jackson. A Wasilla man troopers say admitted to killing his wife back in 2022, but his attorneys argue was in self-defense. That judge making his decision Thursday morning. Please rise. Superior Court Judge John C. Cagle was unsure of a plea deal between state prosecutors and Jackson's defense attorneys. I am hesitant in one area of the agreed upon sentence. The deal brought murder charges down to manslaughter for killing his wife, 43-year-old Christina Jackson, a founding member of UAA's pharmacy program who left behind her two children with Jackson when she was killed. As part of the plea, Michael Anthony Jackson would serve 20 years in prison with 13 of those suspended and five years probation. But it wasn't the presumptive range of time served that bothered the judge. I don't find that that's too lenient. What I do have a concern with is the five years probation. According to him, a five-year probationary period isn't enough for Jackson to complete necessary rehabilitative measures and that its length is comparable to that of a felony DUI, rejecting that portion of the plea and countering with 10 years probation. Do you need any time to think about it? I do not. Are you sure? Yes, sir. And you understand that this would be adding five years to the five years that you already agreed to for I probationary do. term? I do, Your Honor. Okay. With all parties agreeing, Jackson's case now comes to a close. The judge saying it is a priority of the courts to carefully consider the possibility of rehabilitation. In Palmer, Carly Shrek, Alaska's News Source.